Livestock Production Introduction It is a beautiful day. Sam attends the Kisumu Agricultural Society of Kenya Annual Fair. He is overwhelmed by the different kinds of animals he sees on exhibition. As outgoing as he is, Sam meets the auctioneer, Mr. Wallace, and they become friends immediately. Then, Hello, mister. How are you? I am fine, as you can say. Trying to make some money. How can I be of help? I am Sam. Are all these animals yours? What? Oh, no. I would be a billionaire. These livestock, you see, have been brought here by different farmers. I just help sell them. Why do you ask anyway? Well, because I have never seen anything like this before. Hmm. Did you say livestock, mister? Wallace. And yes, that is what I said. We use the word livestock to refer to all the animals reared on the farm to directly benefit you and me. Wait a sec. Do you mean cows, sheep and goats that my mzee keeps on his farm at home? Of course, yes. Plus a lot more like poultry, pigs, rabbits, camels, donkeys, fish and bees. Do you mind telling me how your mzee benefits from keeping the animals? Alright. They are a source of food such as meat, milk, eggs, honey and even blood. Mm -hmm. I enjoy all these products at home. I am not a vegetarian, you know. Good for you, young man. Thank you. And whenever we have more than enough milk, mm -hmm. my mze sells the surplus in the local market. Sometimes when he needs a large sum of money at once, he sells the livestock themselves. I guess that's what's going on here. Actually, the farmers here are not here to sell, but to show off just how good they are at keeping their livestock. Anyway, you are right. Farmers sell their livestock when they need the money to do other important things for the family. And with the help of the government, farmers can export livestock products to other countries and this earns the country foreign exchange. What is that for? I mean foreign exchange. Foreign exchange is a source of government revenue or income used to implement development projects like roads, railway, school, healthcare, water, and electricity. Now back to how farm animals are of benefit. Yes, we normally use our bulls to pull the plows during cultivation. Mm -hmm. Our neighbor has donkeys that she uses to draw water from the river, which she sells in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes hire her services during harvesting to transport our harvest from the farm. Wow. It is known as animal power. And the farm animals that can do that are referred to as drought animals. Mm -hmm. These animals can perform a range of tasks including plowing, pulling carts, as well as transportation. Watching bulls fight is entertaining. Agreed. Certain farm animals are used for recreational activities or entertainment. During their free time, people go out to watch bull or cock fights, horse and ostrich races. That's strange. Hmm. So ostriches are farm animals? Yes, now you know. You are forgetting one important use of farm animals, especially for us Africans. For paying bride price to your in-laws when you want to take their daughter as your wife. You are one funny little boy. And you are right. We use farm animals like cows and goats in cultural activities such as marriages and funerals. Another thing, in many African communities, livestock have a bearing on the social status of a man. How do you mean? I mean, well... Wealth in traditional societies was and is still measured by the number of cattle, sheep, and goats you have. The more you have, the wealthier and the more respected you are in the community. I get it. Mm -hmm. You rank higher in the social ladder. Whoa, your English is refined. Thank my mze for it. People in the olden days used livestock as a medium of exchange during butter trade. 
I learned that in a history class. Great. Also, animal products are a source of raw materials used in related industries. For example, textile industries rely on farmers to supply them with wool, fur, hide skins, and more hair. Dairy cattle give milk that is used to process and manufacture dairy products like butter, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, you name it. I see. Animal wastes can be useful as well. Mm -hmm. For example, poultry droppings and cow dung are added to the soil to maintain its fertility, like in compost manure. Correct. Cow dung can also be used in the synthesis of biogas, which is a source of energy. Dried cow dung can locally be used to provide fuel in the homes as well. You bet. Now, I want to discuss common livestock breeds in this exhibition. But before that, allow me to talk to that farmer over there. All right. <laughs> 